Good morning, Boker Tov, Chodesh Tov. Welcome to the Kila Chari Torah Halacha Review for Tuesday, April 13th, Rosh Chodesh Iyar. Today is the 16th day of the Omer, Hayom Shisha Asar Yom Shem Shnei Shavuot Ushnei Yamim La Omer. We're talking about listening to music, the prohibition of listening to music uh, during the Sphira to Omer period. So, without intention, many cases of listening to music are not because you're trying to listen to music or enjoy it, but uh, you're exercising and people want to. Uh, listen to music, you're allowed to do that. Uh, pl- in a playground or a nursery, the teacher uh, is allowed to play music, and if you walk into a store, certainly you don't have to uh, cover your ears or walk out of the store if they happen to be playing music, if you're placed on hold, if you're uh, in a waiting room at a doctor, and so on. You don't have to shut off your ringtone on your phone either, for those of us who still have a musical ringtone. Uh, many have the custom to make bonfires and hold dancing on the night of Lagba Omer. Others say the simcha should start during the day, rather. Because of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the minig is to have bonfires and dancing at night all over the world, not just in Meron, the place of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's uh, burial. However, music which is not a bon- at a bonfire shouldn't be listened to until the next day after sunrise. Uh, okay, so that's what it says about music. Now, other various uh, customs during uh, the Sphira to Omer period. Uh, you're permitted to cut your uh, fingernails and toenails during Sphira, of course, even though we are c- accustomed not to uh, shave or take haircuts. Uh, some have the opinion that you should not say Shechianu during Sphira. According to many poskim, uh, you are permitted to say Shechianu during those days, so you have uh, whatever your custom is, you should stick to that. According to all opinions, you are allowed uh, on Lagba Omer. New clothing. According to many poskim, you're allowed to buy new clothing and wear it during Sphira, if it's, even if it's something that you say Shechianu on. Uh, you can see that in the, in the Levush, Levushay Mordechai. Uh, there's another opinion that's more stringent, says you shouldn't do that. Some want, you can certainly fix, or have your garments repaired, your clothing, uh, you know, have a, a patch sewn on or a tear re- uh, repaired. Others say the custom is even to avoid that during uh, your, when you're holding the sphere of restriction. In any case, if you're getting married, if you have a specific need, you are allowed to buy and wear new garments during sphere, even according to the rather stringent opinion, uh, peer, uh, opinion says Yabia Omer, says Rav Avadia. Uh, even according to the stringent opinion that uh, you can buy, fr- according to the stringent opinion, you can buy furniture and so on. The uh, avoidance that we're trying to uh, maintain is uh, purchasing new clothes. But if you need furniture or anything like that for your house, gesunter hey, you're allowed to buy or move into a new home during sphera. Uh, painting your home is not so you're not supposed to do it during the nine days uh, from Rosh Chodesh Av until Tisha B'av, but during sphera you're allowed. The same th- is true for doing construction on a home during Sphera or putting up wallpaper, if you like that. Some have the custom that uh, women, and some say men as well, should not do work unt- from sunset until the next morning during, uh, during the entire Sphera period. One of this is because the students of Rabbi Akiva died before Shkia, before sunset, and were buried after Shkia. Some say the custom is only until a half an hour after Shkia. According to this, after Lag Bomer, you can be lenient. Another reason for refraining from work is that when the Torah says to count the seven weeks, uh, so it instructs us to count uh, 49 days, and the 50th day is Shruos, of course. Uh, it tells us to count seven weeks. It calls, it says Shabbatot, Shabbasos, Sheva Shabbasos Tamimos, which means rest. According to this reason, you need only refrain from work until uh, after counting for that day. Some women, some say women who do not count the Sphera should avoid working the entire night. Uh, some say, even according to the stringent opinion, any work which is permitted during Cholomoid is permitted during Sphira. Only work which takes time, like sewing garments, is forbidden, but cleaning, housework, you're allowed to do. That applies to the men as well as the women, just filling in that note for you. Uh, the custom of many is not to be concerned with this at all, uh, say a number of uh, respected uh, uh, contemporary poskim, and you should follow your family's custom. So if you have the custom not to do it, then uh, the, not to worry about it then please don't. Happy Rosh Chodesh. Uh, may ER be a month of healing uh, of body and soul for all of us, uh, for our Kehila, for Klal Yisrael, and for the whole world. We should all hear good news and see each other in good health. Chodesh Tov. Have a good day. Please join us again tomorrow.